Hi guys, welcome! In this video, we'll take a closer look at the new ancient equipment system for armor and offhand in ROG 2.0 Isle of Dreams. This system is designed to serve as an alternative to the old equipment system, thereby helping new players catch up with the equipment progress of veteran players. In the first part of the series, we'll discuss in detail the different types of ancient equipment and the mechanics of obtaining, refining, repairing, slotting, enchanting, and decomposing them. And in the succeeding video, we'll take a look at the stats of all ancient equipment available to help you determine which ones are the most suitable for your character. Alright, without further ado, let's begin. Ancient equipment will be available in three types or qualities. First is a green quality ordinary ancient equipment, which grants fixed base attributes only. As an example, we have the bone flute, which grants the following base stats. Second is the blue quality sophisticated ancient equipment which has the same base attributes as a green ordinary ancient equipment but has one additional line of random attribute. The random attribute and its value will only be generated upon obtaining it and it cannot be modified. As an example, we have the eagle bone flute which has the same fixed attributes as that of the ordinary bone flute but has one additional attribute of damage plus 6%. Third and last is the purple heroic ancient equipment which has the same fixed attributes as that of the green and blue ancient equipment but has two additional lines of random attributes. The first line random attribute is the same as those generated in the blue quality ancient equipment. While the second line will always be reduction in damage received from players in PvP and GVG with a random value of 2.5%, 5%, and 7.5%. Thus, the purple ancient equipment is more PvP oriented. However, the purple heroic ancient equipment was only implemented a month after the first Komodo major patch update in China server, so expect that only green and blue ancient equipment will be available first. We can check the details of the various ancient equipment by clicking the Explore tab in your Adventure Handbook. Do take note that only the highest value for each random attribute is displayed in the handbook. Ancient equipment cannot be listed in exchange, so you really need to pray to Lady Luck if you want to get the most optimal stats. So now that we know what ancient equipment are, let's discuss next the mechanics of obtaining, refining, repairing, slotting, enchanting, and decomposing them. Obtaining an ancient equipment is really easy and beginner friendly. For the green quality ordinary ancient equipment, you can obtain them via crafting. Just talk to a Baccaron NPC found in Komoda and select the ancient equipment you want to craft. The crafting materials can be obtained from farming the new Komodo monsters. You just need 1 purple MVP material and 10 magic star sand which can be obtained from the Komodo boss monsters. And 500 each of the 3 common white materials, gooey gum, magic amber, and final dust, which you can farm from Komodo normal monsters. As for the blue and purple quality sophisticated ancient equipment, you can obtain them from the new weekly instance in Komodo, which is called Sealed Land. There are two difficulties for this instance, called Wire and Heroic Mode. We'll talk about this instance in detail on another video, so stay tuned for that. Completing this instance will grant the following rewards. First is the Wire or Heroic Military Reward Box, which you can open to select among free random ancient equipment, blue for Wire and purple for Heroic. Second is the Military Reward Box, which grants a random offhand or armor ancient equipment. This box can be listed in exchange and has a base price of 2 million zenny. Third and last are the Ancient Imprints Currency. 80 Ancient Imprints wires can be exchanged for one blue sophisticated ancient equipment, while 80 Ancient Imprints Heroic can be exchanged for one purple heroic ancient equipment. Up next, let's take a look at the refining of ancient equipment. Similar to the old equipment, the ancient equipment grants huge increase in stats when refined to plus 10 and plus 15. The success rates are still the same wherein there's 100% chance of success for refining until plus 4. If your equipment broke, you won't need to use the same equipment to repair. Instead, you'll need the new Furnace Ember item, which you can obtain either by crafting with Komodo materials or by completing the new Komodo instance. Only one Furnace Ember is needed for repair. Similar to the old equipment, ancient equipment can be safely refined until plus 10. You will also need Furnace Ember instead of using the same equipment.
Overall, it will probably be cheaper to refine ancient equipment compared to most of the old equipment since you only need 1000 Komodo mats to craft a furnace ember. If you're a player who has Holgrahan phobia or is allergic to refinement, there will be an option to melt your plus 11 to plus 15 synthesized old equipment in exchange for a plus 10 or plus 15 refinement voucher plus some extract light crystals. However, this feature is only available for a limited time only after the episode update. So while waiting for the update to arrive in your server, you may want to prepare by purchasing a plus 11 or higher synthesized offhand and armor from the exchange. The value of the equipment affects the rewards you'll get for melting, and the equipment are graded as follows. As an example, if you have a plus 15 Vink Magic Bracelet, it is graded as rank 1 and therefore you can exchange it for a plus 15 offhand refinement voucher plus 200 extract light crystals. Another example is if you have a plus 12 greed shirt which is under rank 3, you can exchange it for a plus 10 armor refinement voucher plus 36 extract light crystals. As for rank 5 equipment such as contract jewelry, you can only exchange it if it is plus 15 wherein you have to pay 36 million zenny to get a plus 15 offhand refinement voucher. The presence of slot in your equipment does not affect the rewards you'll get. Do take note that this process will destroy the old equipment and is irreversible. Personally, I think this feature will only be cost efficient if you have a cheap plus 15 equipment like those under rank 5. If not, I believe it is cheaper to refine the new ancient equipment on your own since you can easily repair and refine it with furnace embers. Just save as much aluminum and zenny as possible before the update arrives, and then farm Komodo mats with your main character using the merge combat time every day. This way you'll be able to try refining your own equipment yourself and possibly save some zenny in the process. You can also transfer the refinement from an ancient equipment to another ancient equipment. The process costs 3 million zenny and it will not destroy the original ancient equipment. This will definitely be more convenient if you often switch between several equipment for farming, boss hunts, and PvP. Slotting of ancient equipment for inlaying cards is also easy. Just talk to the equipment socket NPC in the main city maps and select the ancient equipment you want to slot. This process will only consume 5 pieces of furnace embers. The process of enchanting ancient equipment is just the same with the old equipment wherein you talk to the Mora Cat NPC and Geffen and pay 4 Mora coins and 20,000 zenny. Aside from that, there will also be an option to transfer the enchantment of your old equipment to an ancient equipment which will cost 400 Mora coins. So while waiting for the update to arrive in your server, you may want to prepare by purchasing the cheapest offhand and armor from the exchange that has the most optimal stat or fourth enchant. Take note that you can only transfer the enchantment if they're the same equipment type. If you have already collected a lot of ancient equipment which you do not use, you can decompose or salvage them with the ancient magic furnace. This process will cost 10,000 zenny and will give you 4 ancient imprints. Alright, so far we've gone through the details of the new ancient equipment system. Overall, I think that this change will be better for new and returning players to gear up their characters for various stages of the game. I do feel that it is more balanced as players are able to create a variety of strategies based on the random stats the RNG gods have given them. However, some players like main maxers might also feel that the game is more grindy since they would want to get the perfect stats for their ancient equipment. How about you guys? How do you guys feel about this new ancient equipment system? Let me know by leaving a comment down below. In our next video, we'll take a look at the stats of all ancient equipment available to help you determine which ones are the most suitable for your character. Alright, that's it for this video guys. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed watching this guide. If you're new here, I would love you to consider subscribing by hitting the right subscribe button down below. I would love to have you back. Thank you for watching and see you in our next episode.